Welcome to the Department of Physical Education and Sports Sciences at the University of Limerick. My name is Professor Giles Warrington and I'm Head of Department. It is my great pleasure to invite you to explore Ireland's leading sports campus at the University of Limerick, which boasts a wide range of world-class sporting facilities. PESS has a long tradition in sport-related academic programmes and has been training physical education teachers since 1974. The University of Limerick was also the first institution in Ireland to offer an undergraduate degree in sport and exercise sciences in 1993. Today, PESS offers a suite of high-quality and innovative postgraduate courses. These include Professional Doctorate in Human Performance and Innovation, an MSc in Sports Performance, an MSc in Sport Exercise and Performance Psychology, an MSc in Mental Skills and Mental Health in Sport and Exercise, and an MSc in Applied Sports Coaching. Ranked in the top 50 in the world for sports science departments in 2021, in this video, members of the PES staff will tell you about our programmes and what is so special about studying at PESS and the University of Limerick. Sincere thanks for taking the time to listen to this short presentation. My name is Kira Mothanacha and I am the Programme Director for the Professional Doctorate in Human Performance and Innovation at the University of Limerick. I will now introduce this landmark programme to you and a good starting point is to tell you what a professional doctorate is and more specifically, what is a professional doctorate in human performance and innovation? The programme recognises the need to create agile and individually tailored programmes of doctor level study moulded around the working lives of busy professionals operating in high pressure environments. Two key characteristics are you, the professional with significant experience, insight and who is situated in the workplace environment, and the process of resolving a professional challenge and or developing and implementing an innovation which will benefit your professional circumstance. The programme is designed for experienced professionals who work in different settings to advance high level human and our sports performance. And in addition, for those situated in the health and education sectors, promoting physical activity behaviour. Professional doctorates and PhDs are equivalent qualifications. PhD programs are primarily focused on generating novel contributions to the research literature. Professional doctorates are primarily focused on driving novel contributions to professional practice. Both involve high level critical thinking and the rigorous evaluation of new ideas and innovations. The focus of the professional doctorate is on the skills of innovation development, implementation and evaluation. That is resolving problems, challenges, processes in the workplace and thus enhancing the efficiency and impact of the workplace environment and associated processes, outputs and services. Once you have these skills, you as a professional can continue to apply the process of problem resolution and innovation development. What is the program structure? It is a four year part time program with a thought and innovation research component. It is delivered exclusively through e-learning and it offers a personally tailored program of study and innovation research development. The program is delivered by internationally recognized senior staff with extensive supervisory research and practical experience. The entry requirements are an honors degree in a relevant area or equivalent professional qualification, a minimum of five years professional experience in evidence of same, a recognized prior learning entry route is available, and evidence of English language proficiency is required. Who is on the professional doctorate program? Professional practitioners with significant experience having high profiles within their respective fields. If you are interested in this program, contact us for additional details and note you should apply on or before June the 22nd, 2022. Many thanks for listening and we hope to hear from you soon. My name is Catherine Norton and I am the Programme Director for the Masters in Sports Performance at the University of Limerick. I hope the next few slides will give you top line information on our programme, 
and I will provide signposts to where you can find additional information. Our programme won the Postgraduate Course of the Year in 2019 at the Higher Education Awards under the Health Science category. The programme is in its 12th year and has consistently graduated students who go on to work in high performance sports environments. As stated here, our intent is to prepare graduates for such roles with a particular emphasis on performance analysis, strength and conditioning and nutrition. The practical and applied nature of the programme consolidates theoretical content, encouraging students to challenge current practices and supporting innovation in problem solving. In line with the graduate attributes at the University of Limerick, we design teaching and learning opportunities that allow students to develop these transferable skills. We wish our students to become knowledgeable, articulate, collaborative and responsible, creative and proactive, and we ask them to demonstrate this in the assessments of their learning. Among the key learnings for our students are the theories and research underpinning best practice in those pillars previously mentioned, strength and conditioning, nutrition and performance analysis. Across endurance, speed, strength and team sports, students will develop applied skills using state-of-the-art equipment and technology and taught by experienced practitioners. They will become not just consumers of research, but producers of impactful research through their dissertation modules. We offer two routes for entry. The traditional route requires a second class honours degree in a related subject, or the recognition of prior learning route is available to applicants who may not have a relevant undergraduate degree, but have demonstrable, relevant, applied experience as either an athlete or coach. Further information on application is available via the link on the final slide. The programme is offered on a one-year full-time basis or a two-year part-time. Module titles are displayed on this slide. For full-time students, modules are taught from a January start date and across the spring and summer modules. The autumn semester is dedicated solely to dissertation work. Part-time students are scheduled for Mondays and Tuesdays in year one and Thursdays and Fridays in year two. And the modules are presented on the left-hand side of this slide. I'd like to conclude with a testimony from a recent graduate of the programme. Joe is an international student from the United States who applied to UL through the recognition of prior learning route. He's an accomplished rower and currently works as head of strength and conditioning at the Portuguese Rowing Federation. You can see here from his testimony that he particularly valued the recognition of prior learning route for application, the multidisciplinary teaching and learning, and the opportunity to improve his theory and the application of that knowledge in an applied context. He has recently been accepted to undertake a PhD at Kansas University. For further information about the programme, you can go to the link that's available on this slide. Also, I would welcome any inquiries that you may have. I sincerely hope you consider the Masters in Sports Performance and the University of Limerick in your future. Thank you. Dr. Matthew Herring, and I'm the course director for the MSc in Sport, Exercise and Performance Psychology and MSc in Mental Skills and Mental Health in Sports and Exercise programs. These one-year full-time companion programs are identical with the exception of entry qualifications and the nature of dissertation supervision and projects. Of note, the Sport, Exercise and Performance Psychology program is currently undergoing the accreditation process with Psychological Society Ireland. Programs are underpinned by a scientist-practitioner models focused on methodological rigor and contemporary psychological approaches that cultivate thorough grounding in the knowledge and application of psychological principles to sport, exercise, and performance contexts. Students develop competencies across core components of research methods and skills, professional practice skills. that are augmented with other taught components and psychological knowledge from multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary perspectives that are then integrated across a range of professional contexts. Our core program aims are to create an outstanding and distinctive learning experience through innovative teaching and to promote a sound evidence-based approach for those engaged in a broad range of roles in sport, exercise, and health context. Our multidisciplinary objectives include to extend the traditional remit of sports psychology by focusing on performance restoration, resilience, and mental health rather than exclusively targeting performance enhancement to develop knowledge of and appreciation for the therapeutic viability of physical activity and exercise for mental health, to enhance the understanding 
of mental health challenges in sport context using positive psychology approach to provide stage one of the recognition process for sport and exercise psychologists for both PSI and BPS and to include the appropriate skills to enable our graduates to develop a case study submission as part of their application for professional membership of the Irish Institute of Sport. Two options for entrance requirements include, for the MSc in Mental Skills and Mental Health and Sports and Exercise, a ratified undergraduate 2-2 honors level degree or higher, with preference given to applicants with degrees in disciplines related to sport and exercise sciences. For the MSc in Sport, Exercise, and Performance Psychology, an accredited 2-2 honors undergraduate degree in psychology that is recognized by the Psychological Society of Ireland or equivalent, for example, the British Psychological Society. There's also a recognized prior learning entry, and you also can find more information at the links presented here. The programs are structured and scheduled across three semesters, spring, summer, and autumn, with a traditional spring semester, a shorter block scheduled summer semester, and the autumn semester devoted explicitly to the research dissertation. Now the spring semester, we do our best to schedule on two days a week, normally Tuesday and Wednesday. Our graduates are prepared for a career in applying sport and performance psychology as practitioners or in the use of these same techniques in supporting other careers, including coaching, management, rehabilitation, health promotion and public health and research. We've graduated approximately 100 students since 2015, some of whom have become performance directors in elite sport, practitioner sports psychologists, or gone on to further study and research careers. I'd like to leave you with a statement from graduate Katie Kilbane that said, the greatest thing I took away from the course was a better understanding of research in the area of sport and exercise psychology. There's a lot of information put out to coaches and players, but being able to pick apart the research and information that can help you to apply an intervention in an effective and safe manner has been invaluable. Applications will open later this spring and will close November 1st, 2022. So we advise applying early as we accept approximately 20 students each year. And we thank you for your attention. My name is Philip Kearney, and I will give you a brief overview of the Masters in Applied Sports Coaching carefully designed program to structure your development and ultimately to enhance the quality of your coaching. We've designed a very particular program here at UL and so I'm always pleased when feedback from coaches and graduates echoes many of those features. The course is focused on your coaching. We start by mapping your current practice, the problems that you face, the opportunities that are open to you. We provide you with the space and time to step back to gain perspective on how you coach and why you coach the way you do. We upskill you in the tools to analyze and reflect. I've been really impressed by the coaches on the program who are already doing many innovative things before they came on board. But I think it's fair to say that many of the coaches have found a new level to their reflective practice as a result of the course. We have designed a program for experienced coaches looking for their next challenge. On average, coaches have had more than 10 years experience prior to joining the program. The course is only available part time as most coaches will already be working and coaching and we need to be careful to manage the overall load. It is essential to be actively coaching during the program because we ask you to bring your coaching into the sessions. That might be through video of a coaching session, through your session plans, reflections and so forth. Our motto for the program is that your coaching is the curriculum. We provide the concepts, the tools, the structure for you to analyze and develop your coaching. Your analysis of your coaching draws firstly on your own experiences, both before you came on the course and while on the course. We value your experiences. Secondly, on the experiences of coaches and other experts from a range of sports who deliver case studies. Thirdly, on the latest research on sports coaching. Think of research as highly potent distilled experience. Finally, you draw on the input of your peers. There is so much rich learning to be had in the interactions with other coaches from diverse backgrounds. We think that the combination of these four factors produces a powerful stimulus for development. These are the modules in the program. It's fair to say you have a lot of freedom to explore directions that are of particular interest to you. While we provide a broad framework of areas to explore, coaches on the program will be tasked with finding specific issues from their current practice to explore in depth. Relationships, for instance, 
is a broad topic we might pursue. But coaches can consider coach-athlete relationships, coach-assistant-coach relationships, coach-parent relationships, coach who is also a parent, child who is also an athlete relationships, whatever is most relevant to you. The research project can be a traditional study or action research, where you are both the researcher and the subject of the research, evidencing an improvement in some aspect of your coaching. At the bottom of the slide is a link to UL's Book of Modules, where you will find more detailed descriptions of all of these modules. If you want to find out more about the programme, here are some links that you can explore, or please drop me an email. We hope that you have enjoyed this presentation on the diverse range of programmes that we offer, and we wish you the very best in your future sporting endeavours.